In this video I'm gonna do the edit product view so I'm gonna copy add product and change it to say edit product like so and now in here this is gonna say edit product and this is gonna this A is going to link to admin slash products back to the products. That's fine. Form is ank type multiple form data. That's good. And it's going to link to edit product slash ID. Let me just see how I'm passing that ID. Well, I'm not passing it at all. So let's say down here id is gonna be equal to p underscore id so in here i'm gonna have the title that's fine which is printing the title here and description that's good too category is good as well but i need to check now which option is or should be actually pre-selected so inside of this option value which should have this cat slug value that's fine but i want to check if this cat slug is equal to category and if it is i want it to be selected so i'm gonna bring this down and i'm gonna say here if so if cat slug is equal to category and I'm passing that category here as the slug basically. So if there's a match for that, in that case, I want here to have selected equals selected like so. So let's see. That looks good. Next is this price. So that's fine as it is. Let me just see actually here I could format it better so I'm gonna say here parse float and price and to fixed and pass two in here so the price is fine and the image now so this one here is gonna say upload image and above this div I'm gonna have a div that's displaying the current image so this one is gonna have a name of image that's fine and ID of IMG that's fine as well so it's all good basically just the label is gonna be different and up here I'm gonna copy and paste this div and say here current image and here i'm gonna have a p and i'm gonna say if actually like so so if image is equal to an empty string in that case i'm gonna have that no image show up so source is gonna be slash images slash no image dot png and i'm also gonna give it the id of no image so it's styled and copy this close embrace because this one is gonna be an else so else and copy this paste it here it's also gonna have the same id but the image is gonna come from product underscore images slash and i need to this uh, get the image name here so image and the id actually so product images id the folder so this is the name of the folder and the image so that should work and i'm uploading the image here so that's fine as well and before this button i want to have the name of the image in a hidden input so i'm gonna say here image actually 
input hidden like so and name is gonna be p image and the value is gonna be image so the name of the image and let's see if this works so if I go to edit bananas let's say okay looking good and if I go to edit grapes which actually has an image so here it is so it's all good so far and after the form I want to display the gallery images so I'm gonna have an HR here and an H3 with the class of page dash header which is gonna say gallery and here I'm gonna have a UL with the class of gallery and in here now I'm gonna loop through the gallery images so I'm gonna have that and this is gonna say gallery images and this is gonna say image just in then this a bit so for each image I'm gonna have a Lee and the side of that Lee I'm gonna have the image so this is gonna be let me actually copy the source from here that is here I'm just gonna get rid of this ID no image so the source is gonna be product images slash gallery slash thumbs slash image and the ID should actually be here so like so let me just get rid of this ID here okay that looks good and I'm also gonna have an A here for the delete link which is gonna have a class of confirm deletion and the href is gonna point to slash admin slash products slash delete dash image slash and the image name and I'm also gonna have a question mark here and append the ID so the ID is going to be equal to and my snap has stopped working so I'm going to copy this and paste it here so to ID and this is going to say delete and I'm going to have a non-breaking space here just to have some space between the image and this link and that looks good even though I don't have any gallery images now but I will soon enough so if I now go to say grapes I see gallery here and let's see what this is I messed up the actually I didn't let's see what this is so this is slash thumb slash thumbs yeah it's written the folder so I need to take care of that so inside of the loop I'm gonna have another if and I'm gonna say here if image does not equal thumbs and and that if here so now I shouldn't get anything here and this is good and lastly I need that form for uploading gallery images and I'm gonna use drop zone for that so let me google that drop zone cdn and I need the js and the css files so I'm gonna get this CSS basic one and I'm gonna have that here since it's only needed for this view so does the href and this one as well jobzone.css so let me just copy this and this is gonna be jobzone.css and jobzone.js as well so this is gonna be a script with that source 
and this looks good I think that's all I need and I'm gonna have a comment here and say preview image and another comment here and say drop zone for the drop zone code and I'm gonna have that drop zone form here so I'm gonna have a couple of BRs just to have some space and I'm gonna have another form here with action slash admin slash products slash product gallery so this is a route I need to create and also slash ID okay the snippet works now and the method will be post and also ang type I need to be multipart slash form their data and I'm gonna give it a class of drop zone and also an ID of drop zone form like so so this looks good let's see what happens if I refresh the page now and I get that area here to drag and drop or click and select files so that's good and finally I'm gonna add a drop zone code here so in this form I'm pointing to this URL so I need to create that route but I also need to have some drop zone JS code and I'll do that in this video and the actual uploading in the next video so I'm gonna say here drop zone dot options dot drop zone form and that's gonna be equal to an object and in here I'm gonna say accepted files are gonna be image slash and uh, star so basically all image files are gonna be accepted and nothing else and I'm also gonna have an init here and a function so here inside of this I want to wait for all the uploading to complete and then I want to reload the page so I'm gonna say this on and in here Q complete and pass a callback here function file that should be not error and I'm gonna have a timeout here so set timeout and a function here I'm gonna say location reload here and reload in 1000 milliseconds so let me format this and formatting doesn't work in that base inside of this script tags in a view for some reason so let me just do it manually okay and get this back a bit as well and it looks more decent now so so far so good okay that's it for this video and i'm gonna do the actual uploading in the next video